hope we're live. This is me saying hello. Got to make sure our tech's working. Yeah, we're on. All right. Okay. Let me just make sure we've got Facebook muted. Can everybody hear me? Hop on and say hello. I am just seeing a black screen over here. <laughs> okay, there it is. Yes. All right. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. My name is Liz Howick. I have the privilege tonight of addressing you all and explaining to you how I have changed my Sensi business almost overnight with the systems I'm about to show you. They are totally free and super easy to put into place. You can start tonight. I'll hand you everything and uh, you just copy and paste and make it yours. And then you can start ASAP. And I honestly believe that you'll see progress starting tomorrow. Um, so I've been with Sensi since 2006. When I joined, I had three tiny kids. My youngest was two months old. Um, I have the funnest beginning story because I know the founders of Sensi. Um, I, my sister-in-law gave me a Sensi warmer and wax for Christmas in 2005. Yes, that's a long time ago. Um, and I loved it, but I was working full time and I didn't even think about selling Sensi. So it sat on my shelf for a year and collected dust and about nine, 10 months later, I got invited to my sister-in-law's house for my very first Sensi party. See, she had a friend around the block named Kara Egan and Kara had started Sensi with her sister-in-law, Colette Gunnell. And I know them both and love them, fabulous people. And Kara was the consultant at Jen's party. So I got to meet the Sensi founder at Jen's party and she was super pregnant. She had a really simple layout on, her, on Jen's kitchen table. And when I walked in, I got hit in the face with pumpkin roll and I totally fell in love. And I already had that warmer at home. And so I just smelled until I stopped being able to smell that anosmia thing. And uh, she sent me home with a free bar of pumpkin roll, which was the scent of the month in November of 2006. And I immediately put that, a cube of that in my warmer. I pulled it down and plugged it in first. But anyway, in 10 minutes, my whole house smelled spectacular. And I was like, I love this stuff and I want to do this. Um, I really, I don't know that I wanted to, you know, do this, do this. I just loved the idea. Um, I wanted to buy it for myself. I, I lived in a house that had been gutted by a fire and completely rebuilt. And I had a really rambunctious cat that kept knocking over my candles, my jar candles. And I was super worried about that. Um, I loved the whole safe candle aspect that Scentsy has. Um, and I just wanted to buy it for me. Um, when I realized that there was an income potential, I wanted grocery money. I wanted extra money for babysitters so I could go on a date. Um, I just wanted, I just wanted a little bit of extra wiggle room. So that's where we are. Are we on? We are on. We got people on. We got people waiting in the waiting room. We do. I'm so sorry. Hold, please. Hold, please. I don't know how to do that. Admit. Okay. Admit all. There we go. Sorry, guys. Welcome. Um, if you're on the Zoom, I want you to make sure that you stay muted. Um, and FYI, you're going to be live streamed over onto the group. So if you don't want your face on that live stream, then just turn off your camera too. Okay. But feel free to add any comments over here. I'll be able to see them. And if you're on the group page, go ahead and add your comments in there. I can't promise that I'll see them during the live, but I'll definitely go back through and answer everything for everybody. Um, so back to my story, I signed up 15 years ago. All I wanted was grocery money. Um, I was working full time. I had three tiny kids. I went part time immediately after I had that third baby. And a year and a half after that, I got laid off of the, that job. And I was really mad. And my husband said, just see if Sensi works for a while. If it doesn't, then you know you can find another job. And that was in 2008 and I'm still here in 2022 and I love it and I still love it. Like, I love it. Um, so that's me in a nutshell. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm quite a talker. I apologize for talking so fast, but that's what happens when I get nervous. Um, I also know there's like a hundred people, hundreds of people, I just don't even, I don't even know. Um, so just to give you an idea of my, background and why I am probably a good person to explain this system to you tonight. Um, when I joined Sensi, like I say, I didn't know that I wanted to do it like for a job. I just wanted that little bit of extra wiggle room in our grocery bill. Um, I 
like I say, was working. I was raising those tiny kids. I wasn't sleeping. You know the drill if you're a mom. And um, I almost quit twice before I heard about somebody's $10,000 commission check for the month before. And the light bulb went off over my head and I took it seriously for the first time. So that was like a year after. So I should insert the income um, disclosure statement right there because $10,000 monthly checks are not usual. And I'll make sure that you understand that. I mean, it's still something I'm going for 15 years later, but I have come close a couple of times. Um, so just so you know, that's not a typical thing unless you're working your butt off, <laughs> to be quite honest. So I took it seriously in August of 2007. Seven. So that's when I dive, that's when I dove in and decided that I was going to have a party <laughs> besides my launch party where I had like six people show up and I barely sold $150. Um, so I decided I was going to do parties. I, I did an event with my upline and I booked four or five parties and I just went from there. Um, a year later, I hit director and I was shocked. Like, I don't even know how that happened because um, it just did because when you party, you meet people and they all fall in love with it and they all want to join and your team grows and that's what happens. So a little plug for party. Um, anyway, that was whew, a long time ago. I hit director in 2008 and I hit star director three years later in, two, in 2011. Um, and I was just on cloud nine. I could not believe it. Like, wow. Um, we were so excited at that point that we like, made major renovations to our house. We gutted our basement, you know, cause we were gonna redo that and turn it into a man cave. <laughs> well, see, I'm just talking, I'm off the rails. I have ADD, did you figure that out? Um, so 2011, I was doing really well with my team and group. Everybody was rolling, um, growing so fast that I started losing track of where people fit in. And um, it, was, it, was a, it was a lot overwhelming for me. And a few years after I hit star director, something happened. I, I lost my spark. I, I'll just be super honest. I felt like I wasn't cut out for this. I must be doing this wrong. Um, I felt like I couldn't keep up. I, what I mean is when I hit that director level, I felt like I needed to put on this persona for my team. And I didn't realize that being myself was the key to being a good director. I thought I had to, um, I thought I had to be the perfect director. And when I couldn't be the perfect director, I felt like I was broken and wrong and bad. So that led to a bunch of negativity and you get the idea if, if you're going through this at all. But um, it took me a long time to feel like I was ready to make this happen again. Um, and that is what we're here to talk about tonight. I just wanted to share with you all, all of that backstory so that you'll appreciate it maybe. Um, I don't want um, I don't want anybody to think that I am a sensi rock star. I'm not yet, but I will be, and I'll show you how this has changed my business overnight. I started really diving back in in 2020 when I hit superstar director, um, and last January, so just a year ago, I for the very first time in 15 years made a bunch of bulk samples. Besides wax, I mean I'd done wax before, but I've never done any of the other things. And I dove into bulk sampling. I started mailing um, mailers to my last three months worth of orders. Um, and it took about six months for that to pick up. And then last fall, I started using what I'm about to show you. And that doubled and tripled my PRV and my recruiting. I, I'm up 300% on my recruiting. So that's amazing. And that's why I'm so excited to be on tonight and share with you what I'm doing. Um, and we're going to start by me sharing my screen and I'm going to show you what I do on my calendar because that I think is where you need to start. Um, just as a backstory for that, I have tried so many pen and paper binder systems and um, calendars, you know what I'm talking about, like I just, the pen and paper stuff doesn't work for me, so I'm going to show you how I made it all digital, but if you are a pen and paper person, don't worry, because I can totally show you how to take what I'm going to give you and use it in a pen and paper way. Um, so uh, on my calendar, I've been using Google Calendar for a decade because I need things to ding at me, otherwise it's, it's gone. I will get to a point where I am not... Um, able to remember things. 
So, oh, that's another part of the backstory. You guys have to understand. I'm on the ADD spectrum, but I also have two physical uh, medical conditions that make it really hard for me to focus. I have sleep apnea. So my brain tells my lungs to stop breathing multiple times every hour while I'm asleep. That's not good. And I'll wake up with a headache and it's bad. Um, and so that literally causes brain damage. And so I struggle with that alone. But in 2012, I also found out that I have a Chiari brain malformation, which causes pressure in my head and headaches and focus issues. So all of that combined explains who I am and why I am perfect to explain to anybody else with any kind of focus issue or ADD or high anxiety, that's me too. If you get sidetracked easily, we're, we're just like, um, what's the word? Kindred spirits, I understand you. Um, so let's start with a little screen share and we'll talk about my calendar. Hang on. So where do I put this? Shrink it. Okay, I'm gonna move this over here. All right, here's Google Calendar. If you haven't seen this before, it's totally free. It's part of the Google universe. I use it because like I say, I needed things to ding at me because I genuinely want to do a lot of things, but if I don't have a reminder, I it's gone, it's totally gone. So um, out of my brain, it just falls out. So my calendar connected on my phone dings at me and tells me what I need to do. This is just my personal calendar. Um, I added my husband's calendar. We share each other's calendar. So that's another option, another reason I really like Google Calendar. But um, I also added my Sensi Life. So this is what I implemented last September. I started time blocking specifically for Sensi. Um, I got this from a book called Indistractable by Anir Eyal. Um, he has a lot of really intuitive hacks that you can help yourself get through all of that. Um, uh, what's the word I want? The, the All the things that distract you. He's got lots of hacks that can help. So I, I recommend this book. I, I'm, he's got a couple of things in there that I'm like, what? Like he wants you to put a hat on if you want, if you want people around you to know that you don't want to be distracted. I'm not sure I'm, I'm on board with that, but everything else he talks about, I really liked. I bring him up because he told me that time blocking is better than making big lists. And that's always what I did before. I'd make lists, I'd have sticky notes all over the place and the big lists would just overwhelm me. Like I knew that it was good to dump out my brain so that I would stop thinking about things and, and stop letting what I needed to do take up space in my head. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to get it out on paper and then the problem is I'd look at it because I'm a visual person too. I'd look at it and I'd just totally be overwhelmed. Um, and I wouldn't do anything because I didn't know where to start, right? <laughs> so he says, time block instead, because when you time block, you kind of set an appointment with yourself to do the things you want to do. So I added power hour, which we'll talk a lot about tonight. Power hour was first introduced to me by superstar director, AD Mitchell, 10, 11 years ago. And since he has taken it, and it's on the workstation, I'll show you where to get it. But the power hour has totally changed my business. This, this, if you don't pick up anything from this training except for this, the power hour is amazing and that's what you should do. Um, then I took Christina Stainbrook's Scalable Systems, tweaked it for me and decided that I was gonna do customer day, team day, packet prep day, social media day and office day, just like that. So that Monday through Friday, I have a schedule because if I don't have a schedule, I am a, fly by the seat of my pants, nothing gets done. I, I'm like running from one fire to another and I'm not focused. This time blocking helps me. The other thing that I added was this, the region one US consultant cal calendar. If you don't know about this, I have to give you a quick intro. Um, see these that are added up here? It's telling me when Sensi does trainings and what's coming when. So it's a really easy way for me to stay plugged in know what's coming so that I, as long as I'm looking at my calendar, then I, I'm like, oh yeah, this is hitting on Monday. I should probably tell my people about it, right? So that is a really easy way to do that. I'm gonna show you where to get it if you haven't done it before. You go to your workstation and you log in. And calendar is over here in the menu on the left. This is it right here. You can get this information on your Google calendar by, 
going to subscribe to calendar and then you're going to copy this link you're going to go back over here to your google calendar and down here where you can add other calendars that little plus sign you're going to hit from url and then this is where you're going to paste that url that you just got from the workstation once you hit add calendar it will appear on your calendar these guys and you can decide if you want to show it or not by just checking things off right you don't have to show all your things you can like if you for me i'm so visual and overwhelmed easily that i have to keep it i have to just what i'm looking at on my calendar has to be just what i want to look at on my calendar because if i add like reminders and tasks and fly lady like i'm like whoa that's too much i can't do that right so i'm like okay take it off you're fine figure out another way to do that um that's that's how this works okay so calendar is super easy you can totally do that um admit there you go do we have more people to admit i don't know it looks like hold on let me make sure we got everybody in i think we're good mute off yes okay hopefully i'm not muted i don't know no nope. okay good all right got my tech together this my friends is why you're here tonight besides time blocking the other thing that has totally changed my business is using over here on the left google keep google keep is amazing google keep is what i come to every day when i get sidetracked seventy five thousand times when i find myself social scrolling aimlessly and and like why did i even come here i don't even know what i came to find um i don't know how long i've been lost in facebook land this is what i go back to over and over again during the day and this is how i'm able to stay on track so um google keep is free you can get it on apple or android everything i use it on my computer like this i split my screen in half and i work from the left hand side and i do whatever i'm doing over here on the right um the notes are pinnable so you probably you guys probably saw me dragging them around you can make them different colors you can add these headers on the top um i came in here and i this is what they used to look like they this is what i worked with for a long long time this is i i use the um where is it the shopping list i've used the shopping list forever we got a google hub in our house and i never forget anything when i'm at the grocery store anymore because when we run out i just tell the google machine what i want it to add to my shopping list oh my gosh it just cued in <laughs> okay anyway love the shopping list right so last summer last fall ish I decided that I was going to use Google Keep for everything else. And I started dumping all of my to do's in here. So personal stuff, business stuff, stuff I don't want to forget. I've got my bucket list in here. I've got books I want to read. I mean, like all the things I just dump it in here. So this is where I brain dump. And because I come in here every day, I don't forget it. Like as long as I scroll through the bottom lists, because I'm up in here all the time, then I literally stay on track and keep things in, in the forefront of my brain just because i'm looking at this every day okay let me just double check that we're still good on facebook somebody tell me i see no comments um i think we're fine i don't know somebody tell me if we can still hear me i don't know i don't know i have no idea okay let me stop sharing stop share okay somebody tell me we good jess fill me in can you hear me <laughs> I have to make sure before I keep going. Liz, you're good. Thank you so much. Okay. See, now you, now you understand how I panic all the time too. Let's go to screen share again. All right. So I'm gonna start out by talking about Fly Lady. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but Fly Lady has changed my life. I found Fly Lady 20 years ago when I had tiny kids and I dove right in and it made a real difference for me, but I found it really hard to keep up. And so I felt bad about myself. And so I got overwhelmed and I stopped doing it, but I've never forgotten her systems. I've never forgotten. And I've always tried to get back into it, even if I didn't em embrace the whole thing. If you don't know who Fly Lady is, this is her website, flylady.net. She has, she basically was a hot mess <laughs> just like me a long time ago and she read a book called sidetracked home executives and decided that she was going to take their system and tweak it to work for her and she came up with a daily plan 
Like she has you do daily routines, which is all I do really. I just, the only routine I do very well right at this point is the morning routine. And I do it before I sit down to work my Sensi because my brain has space to focus on Sensi when I know my house isn't a disaster. And it's amazing because my dishes are done. I'm dressed to shoes. My bathroom's clean. My bed is made. I know what's for dinner. My laundry's completely caught up. I'm like a different person. It's amazing. So I highly recommend her if you haven't, don't know anything about her. This is basically her system in a nutshell. I come into these keep notes every day and I go down here and I hit uncheck all and then it unchecks them for me so I can start over. So that's what I just did. So all I'm doing is this little list right here in the morning before I come to sit down. Um, I'm not really great at the zone cleaning or the daily plan yet, but it's okay. I said yet, and I'm making progress and that's the point. So I recommend Fly Lady and I'll just mention that because I just love her. Um, when I sit down, I come into my power hour. Again, I'm just gonna go down here, uncheck all my items. And adding the check boxes is a thing that I did for this because I needed something that was visual and positive for me because the, the list shrinks. And so I feel good about myself every time I check something off. <laughs> I used to over here on this side, I used to do, um, I used to do Google Tasks. Google Tasks is another Google Universe free app that you can add to the side of either your Google Calendar like this, or you can add it to your email like this. Okay, so I started here last January with like adding every task that I wanted to do. But you'll notice how these dates turn red if you don't get to them. The list, the growing list of red tasks over here was just not working for me. I was like, no, I feel bad about myself. That's obviously something that I need to change. And that's when I went over and decided that Google Keep is what I wanted to do. So you may have noticed too, I need to point this out. You can, um, you don't have to put anything on the side of your email or your calendar, but you can put Google Keep here too. Um, you'll notice these are white backgrounds and different colors on my Google Keep. I like it in its own tab on dark mode. So that's what I'm doing. Power Hour, let's get into Power Hour. Power Hour, like I'm telling you, is amazing. Power Hour is why I've made progress on anything that I wanted to make progress on in the last year. Um, just to give you a real quick um, idea, you can get, oh, of course it's not gonna work for me. Let me go back here. You can get Sensi's version of the Power Hour right here. Download it. Maybe it'll work this time. Okay, so Sensi realized that AD Mitchell's Power Hour was so brilliant that they have done, there's many trainings been done on it over the years. This is the latest rendition of it. And I like it a lot because you can read these two pages and, and you're completely clued into how Power Hour works and what the purpose of it is. Don't get overwhelmed though. If you have ADD and you're like, whoa, it's too much. I can't do that. Pay attention to just the vital behaviors. That's what I did. And that's what's changed me. So prospecting, recognizing excellence in your team and your customers, keeping up to date, staying plugged in is what I call it and improving yourself. I do those four things in reverse order. Um, the follow-up is part of my um, talk, part of my customer care piece of it. Networking is part of my prospecting. Checking in with my team is part of um, recognizing excellence in my team. So I just basically took Sensi's Power Hour page here and I turned it into this Google Keep note. Can you guys see that okay? Should I make this bigger? I don't know, I guess we're fine. Okay, so Power Hour. I start with what I call eye on the prize. This is, like I say, do it in reverse order. The improve yourself is what I do first. I call it eye on the prize. What I do first is I look at what my goals are every single day. This helped me so much last fall when I decided I was going to earn the incentive trip. Um, so just looking at what I want to do, just looking at, I have this little piece of paper I taped to the wall that said, I am going to earn this trip. Um, and I have a, a sheet that I look at every day where I fill in my numbers. Just looking at that helps me keep my goals in the forefront. I don't forget about them. In the past, I used to be like, yeah, I want to do that. I want to earn that. I want to go there. But then I'd forget about it. As soon as I didn't make it what I wanted to do that first month, I'd totally give up. 
Um, and I did that for years and it's totally in your head. It's between your ears. It's totally like you're telling yourself you can't do that. You totally can. Um, I pro I've proven it to myself. I, I earned not the trip, but I got level one and I'm so proud of me because that's only happened three times ever in my 15 years. So like I say, I'm not a rock star, but I did it. And the reason why it happened this last fall is because I looked at my goals every day. Um, the key to tracking my progress and making plans and pivoting was that if I looked at where I was and where I wanted to be, I should explain this a little bit. So what I do is I, oh, let me change this a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Stop that screen share. Okay, so I just printed this off. It's part of the simple systems and I'll give you a link. And all I do is I go in and I mark where day seven is, day 14, day 21 and day 30. And then I'm gonna mark what my goals are for each week. I broke it down. I took the big goal, I broke it down into weeks so that it's not super overwhelming. I mean, if I really wanted to earn this, the annual sales award, you'd have to sell like 64 and change per day to um, get that $2,000 a month. The annual sales award, you'd have to sell 2,500 every month. And just that big number is scary. So I broke it down just by week, that's all I do. Um, so let me go back to screen sharing. So I pivot when I look at that and I'm like, nope, I'm not on track. Then I think to myself every day, what can I do today to get there, to get closer to my goal? So that's what pivoting and making plans is. I look at a motivational quote every day. I do something to pour positivity into me because I am a negative Nelly in, in my head. I'm really mean to myself. I beat myself up. I can't like, it's really hard to explain to people who don't get it, but I am um, really mean to myself in my head. And so one of the ways that I combat that is I tell myself every day, no, you can do this, you've got this and you, you can totally do this. And one of the things that I do to help with that is I motivate myself by looking at these great inspirational quotes every day. So I have this go for it book that I bought. And if I don't find anything in there, as I flip through, I just find something online. That's all I'm doing. So then I check these off. Um, Oh, I wanted to talk about too, you know how these are underneath? You can just drag them around. You can make them parent and child tasks. So if I check this one off, all of them underneath it go. See, anyway, well, anyway. So let me uncheck it all. Okay, so plugging in and staying informed is next. This is critical to growing your Sensi business. If you don't know what's going on, you're not the best consultant that you could be. You're, you're not able to answer questions. You feel bad about not being able to answer questions. It's just a bad cycle. So by plugging in every day, I'm able to know what's going on. I can answer questions for myself, my customers and my downline. I just feel better about myself. So um, like I say, I record my stats on this sheet. I, I can't believe how positive that has been for me. I've never been a tracker before. I tried all of the um, calendars and the um, binder, not binders. I don't want to say that all the planners I've tried 78,000 planners in my life. And I always would start like, you know, people like, it's like the new year's resolutions, right? You start it, you do it for two, two weeks or three weeks. And then you just, you're not in the habit of doing it and it's not fun or whatever, for any reason, just drop it happened to me over and over and over again. So I knew all these years, I've watched all of the Rockstar Sensi Consultants, I've watched them grow and they're tracking. They have a plan. They look at their goals every day. I'm like, okay, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to dive into this planner thing. So a uh, tracker thing, I should say, because I have had a system for my follow-up over the years. And oh, well, that's another story. Follow-up is why I'm still in business 15 years later. That I've got down. But tracking things, no, totally no. And really hard for me to even do taxes at the end of the year another story. Um, so starting to track things on this paper every day has motivated me and kept me on track. So that alone is worth doing. Um, so they're recording my daily stats. Let's check these off for you one at a time. Um, I check the news tab every day because stuff changes around here so often that if I'm not looking at it every day, I'll miss something. And I've got lots of people looking to me for answers and I need to know so that I can be on top of it for when my customers ask. So I check that news tab every single day. Sometimes they update stories, even though I've read them with new dates and new information. And so that alone is worth looking at it every day. So plug for doing that. 
I also check the Sensi family. Let me go to it. No, oh, let's go here. Okay. I go here every day to the Sensi Family Consultants page because they have trainings in here live twice a week. So fun, super fast, very motivational. They have a learning plan in here every week. So it ties into what they do on Tuesdays for the all consultant call. Love it, love it. And they also post this kind of stuff like um, get your Vistaprint stuff cheaper all the time. And I never used to look at this. And when I realized this is where the Vistaprint coupons are coming from, I started adding it to my daily checklist because they, this is a fun page to be on with all of this stuff. So I look at that every day. Um, so that's me getting plugged in. Then I'm going to turn to do my customer follow-up. So I use, uh, I use a spreadsheet to track all of, not only what's coming in through my personal Sensi website and my parties, stuff that's already on the workstation, I will track that separately on a spreadsheet. Super easy to do a report from the workstation to grab that and put it wherever you want to use it in Excel or Google Sheets. But I also am selling stuff off my shelf that's not being recorded in my workstation, right? And so I need to track that so that I can follow up on that. So I add that to my spreadsheet too. The reason why I'm using a spreadsheet and I never have before is because it was super daunting and I thought that's a lot to keep track of. Like, again, that's too much, right? I get overwhelmed. But when I realized that I can take that spreadsheet, which is super easy to update every day, because um, I'm only adding a few rows at a time, like, whoo, let's add more than one, one um, order a day, right? Um, but the reason why I love it is because I can take that, that spreadsheet and I can narrow it down to just their name and their address. And when I get ready to mail out my postcards, when I get ready to mail out my postcards, I can print that on Avery, I can print their address right on the postcard in Avery. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to Google Kimberly Polito, go to her website or YouTube channel. She's got a, two videos now on how she does her monthly postcards. And that Avery trick has saved me so much time. I'm no longer making um, labels. Um, you can do the mail merge right inside of Avery and it will print on your um, postcards for you. I love that. So total time saver. Um, so that's why that convinced me that I needed to start tracking things off workstation in a spreadsheet. So that's just me. You don't have to, you can track it however you want. The other thing that I highly recommend is Amy. Um, I know some people don't love Amy. I love Amy. Amy keeps me on track because it syncs to my workstation and it tells me what to do every day. Like if you're super ADD and all over the place and off track and whatever, if you just look at your Amy to do's every day, whoo, like you don't even have to track anything off the side, like it tells you what to do, who to contact for what, you set up the touch point schedule for how often you wanna to talk to people to say thank you, to follow up on orders or whatever. You can change, they, they even give you words to say in templates that you can change. Anyway, I just love it. Um, I also love the invoicing feature there. And I don't know if you know, but Amy connects to Instagram. And so you can, you can, tag products in Instagram that people can shop from your Instagram post. And that feeds to Facebook. Just saying, it, I really like Amy. So I do those two things. Now, the last thing I do for Power Hour is take care of my team. The reason why I mention this is because in order to have a successful Sensi business, you have to put the majority of your time into your Sensi business. Because if you are not plugged in, if you are not selling yourself and not partying and not doing any of the things that your team is looking to you to do, it's not going to be something, they're not going to have faith in you. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to work your business into what you want it to be so that you can be the example for them. So spend 80% of your time on your Sensi business and 20% of your time on your team. If you don't have a team yet, work that 20% to get a team, okay? I made the mistake early on when I hit director of deciding that I needed to pour all of my energy and effort into my team. And because I did that, I mean, my team, it was great. I made great connections. Like I felt like a, a huge trainer, everything was working well, but my business suffered. And it wasn't until I, I kind of stepped back and looked at what was working and what wasn't. And I realized I'm not putting the majority of my time into my own personal business that needs to change. That changed about a year ago when I decided I was gonna make this work. So. That's all I'm going to tell you about Power Hour. Just do it every day. Come in here. It's super easy. So let's move on, shall we?
Besides, um, I've kind of given you the overview. I start with Fly Lady every day just to make space in my brain. Then I do that power hour. Again, if you don't have time, if you're working full time and doing 75 other things, you know, juggling life, um, the power hour is where I'm gonna tell you to start. Um, one of the things that will make your power hour go by really fast is if you do this packet prep stuff on uh, before you sit down to do your power hour. Um, if you don't have your packets ready to go for thank yous, for orders, or um, newbies for teams, or whatever you're doing, um, sending packet party packs to people that you're doing Facebook parties with, whatever you're doing, if you don't have those party packs ready to go, then your power hour is not going to take an hour. It's going to take five hours, right? And you'll get overwhelmed, and it's not fun because you feel all the stress. No. Um, so I, like I say, I separated the rest of my week into categories. It's just scalable systems that, I'm, that I've put into Google Notes. Google Keep Notes is what it's called. So on Mondays, I do customer day. I come in here and I move it to the end and I unpin whatever Friday was so that what I'm working on on the top of my Google Keep tab is what I'm doing that day, okay? So do my fly lady stuff, do my power hour stuff, come to customer day. And I've got this list for you in a Google Doc that you can copy and paste from all of these. You guys get just, you can copy and paste all of it. It's super easy. Um, you'll notice that I have them separated by weeks and some of them are on certain days of the month. Um, if they don't have either of those notations next to them, then I do them or try to do them every week. Don't feel like you have to do them all. I, this was such a hard lesson for me to learn but progress is more important than perfection. Progress at all in any of these categories. Pat yourself on the back because you did more this time than you did last time. The only person that you are in competition with in Sensi Land is who you were yesterday or last month or last year, okay? So don't feel overwhelmed by this huge list. I'm gonna go over this really quick just to give you an idea of what's on these lists and then I can take any questions you have and I'll show you how to make your own Google Keep Notes and then we'll be done. I can talk for 75 more hours on all the things if you want. Okay, so customer day. I'm doing all the things that are customer related. Um, every week I am looking, well, obviously every day, I'm looking at if there's new products that I need to inform my customers about. If there are, they're gonna get texts from me, they're gonna get email from me, they're gonna get calls from me if it's their favorite thing. I have tags set up in my project broadcast and in my Amy contacts. So I'm able to find who loves Harry Potter? Who loves Disney? Who loves whatever is coming out so that I can contact them? That is how you build relationships with people. That is how you take sensi addicts and make them into your best friend. It is so fun. I love being the person that knows what their favorite thing is and they love that I am on top of that. So tag all the people in all the, wherever you are tracking your customers do it. On the first of each month, this is what I wanted to show you. I still do use Google Tasks over here on the side of my calendar for the date specific things. So if it's not, it's probably not gonna fall, like the first of the month is not always gonna fall on a Monday on a customer day. Um, the 15th is not always gonna fall on a customer day or a team day or whatever. So those tasks that are date specific, I put in Google Tasks, which is another app that you can get on its own task on its own tab. Second tab. That's what it looks like, a circle with a check in it. So you can add that to your phone, your tablet, your, your um, computer, wherever you work your Sensi business, you can get Google Tasks in its own separate task, or you can do what I do and stick it on the side of your calendar or the side of your email or whatever you wanna do with it, but I love it. Um, so week one, I'm doing stuff that is pertinent to week one. I mean, that's all it is. I took, I, I did a brain dump for anything that was customer related and I broke it up by when in the month does this make sense to do? And so I'm doing stuff like um, at the very beginning of the month, I'm telling them what the specials are for the month. Um, on During week three, I'm trying to make samples out of the, the scent of the month kit that I get. On week four, I'm creating a newsletter that I'm gonna send out to my customers on the first of the next month, that kind of stuff. That's how I set it up. So that's basically what I'm doing on customer day. Um, on Tuesdays, I do team day, because that makes sense to my brain. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pin it to the top. Oh, there we go, pin it to the top. I'm gonna unpin customer day, because I'm not working on it anymore. 
I'm going to drag it over here so that I remind myself every day, fly lady first, then power hour, then team day. Team day, I did the exact same thing. I did a brain dump for everything that was related to supporting and growing my team. And I separated it by when does it make sense to do it during the month? What do I need to do every week? Um, and what do I need to do on certain days of the month? So this is, um, again, I'll give you guys a docs. I've got a Google Drive that I'll give you access to. I'll tag each of these docs for you. You can just come in here and copy and go back in here. Let me show you how to make one. At the top of your Google Keep app is this. You just paste what I gave you like that. You're gonna come down here to the bottom and you're gonna add, no, you're gonna show checkboxes, okay? Then if you want things to be child tasks under a parent task, you're gonna drag them over with the, the six dots over here. You can move them around like that. The only ones that I have like that are um, Power Hour and Fly Lady. And then you can turn it colors like this. You can decide what color you want it to be. And again, I'm in dark mode on this tab over here. So it looks totally different in white mode. I don't like white mode, so I don't use it. You can also put pictures behind them if you want like that. And you can add, whoop, you can add images. So if I, I made these, uh, here we go. I made these in Canva, these header images, and I'll give you all of them if you want them. Um, and I'll give you the Canva template if you want to change the words on them and make your own. Um, so they, the image automatically goes to the top. So done, right? Done. And then you too will have it down here. It defaults to the bottom. If you want to use it at the top, you pin it to the top and there it goes to the top, right? Um, I don't need this because I already have one. And this is how you delete a note. Just go to this hamburger menu and it's gone. So it's really super user-friendly, user totally free. I love that I can dress it up and make them colors because again, I'm such a visual person that seeing all of these, this blue color ties into this blue color over here on my calendar. I just, I need that, um, what's the word? Correlation. So my brain's like, yeah, you're working on Sensi right now because it's that blue color. Purple's Fly Lady because I don't know, I started Fly Lady first and Fly Lady was purple first. So <laughs> that's why that's purple and not Sensi. Okay, that's team day. Packet prep. I always used to love seeing what people put in their packets. So I am giving you a list of what I put in my packets and you can copy it, paste it, do your do anything that works for you. It's totally fine with me. Um, if you want to see any of these um, forms that I am talking about in here, I can give you the Canva templates forum. Just ask me, find me on Facebook. Um, you can tag me in this group. I'm, I'm in here all the time. I'll, I'm happy to share. I just love, it makes my heart happy because um, I, when I started, Sensi was not like this. Um, I was, the very first catalog that I saw, I think was the very first catalog Sensi ever made. Before that, the catalog was Orville and Heidi, after they um, bought Sensi and took it up to Idaho, they, um, they sent pictures, files to the consultants who printed them at Costco and put them in like photo albums. And that was what they used to get orders. I mean, Sensi's come a really long way. Uh, I used to create a whole bunch of training back in the day. I created my own welcome, like the, cons the consultant guide that everybody gets in their new consultant starter kit. I made that before Sensi made that. Like we had to make everything back in the day. So, I mean, sharing what we did with each other was just key to growing and I love it. So I'm totally happy to share. Okay, so my regular thank you packets. I'll give you a little. I, I totally pre-do this every Wednesday. I make sure I've got at least 10 in there. I start with a thank you card, which I got from Sensi, but you can get them anywhere, right? Not filled out, totally blank. I threw this in there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just write a card, but you need to say thank you to all of your orders. Um, I buy the little thank you stickers and stick on there. If I run out of, of these, then I'm sending the samples. Too many things. Okay. Then I'm sending these instead because I can do either, uh, I can either do a body sample, one of these thin guys, or one of these for a non machinable stamp and send this for one stamp. So that's where you start if you don't want to spend money on thank you packets. 
I choose to do more just because that's me and I'm to the point in my business where I have the income to be able to put back into my business. So I am mailing the catalog with my little, these are my favorites stuck to the top. I've got the sticker sheet in here with the new releases, the monthly specials flyer goes in there with a sticker or a wax sample. And then this is the only other thing I do. Another Canva thing. I should probably stop screen sharing. Stop sharing. There we go. Aaron, you're on. You, speaker. Okay. So this is what I do. It's basically QR codes for all the ways you can connect with me. It's um, join my customer page on Facebook and um, shop my stock on Yumi Who. Um, join sensi club and join my team and here's a, another qr code to get my my monthly specials so that's what i do i send it in there i just call that the connect with me page that's what i do okay that is the exact same thing i do for party packs except i'm adding some samples which i'm um, currently i'm just using the stuff that i could buy from sensi that i don't have to make right and you don't have to send samples. You can just send stickers. I know Kimberly Polito does that and she's really successful with her parties. She sends all the stickers and doesn't do the um, samples in, until they actually order and it's a thank you. So you run your business the way you wanna run it. Um, but what I'm saying is my thank you packets and my party packets are the exact same thing, except I'm adding samples to my party packs. Um, and I also like to do QR codes in the catalog so that they can scan when they get to certain categories and they'll see a little video of me explaining it like they're at a party with me except they're not at a party with me it's like how you do it in this day and age um, you don't have to do any of that but if you want all of those qr codes you can go to the monthly movement facebook group and they're all the files are in there those girls are amazing last the last spring they did a great job with that QR code party style. So look that up if you wanna do QR codes like that. Um, so that's my party packs. Let's go back to screen sharing. Okay. Um, welcome packs for new people. I just add stuff that they don't get in their welcome kit. Like I give them some samples to immediately be able to give out. I give them stuff to make their own samples, just a few. I give them instructions for that. I give them, um, labels with their information on it and a little how to make your own labels because I know that that was so hard for me to figure out I just don't want anybody else to have to go through that um, and then just a little page that's like here's some business tips for starting a business like having separate accounts and having a credit card that you earn airline miles on so you can go to um, Sensi family reunion for cheaper um, and world tour and all that and then I you know the the other stuff that I work on on Wednesdays is like VIP mailers and um, really dedicated just sample making time. So that is packet prep in a nutshell. On um, Thursdays I do, and why can't I see it? Social media. So social media, I'm gonna come in here on Thursday. I'm gonna pin it to the top. Oh, cause it's open, that's why. Pin it to the top, drag it over. Fly lady first, power hour next. Social media after that, if I still have time. This is the day where I'm doing all of my pre-posting and scheduling for posts on all the places. I gave you my list of my themes so that like, it helps me to go, okay, what do I need on a tip Tuesday? I need a tip. So let me, you know, think of something um, or like, what am I going to feature on Friday or whatever? So feel free to use any of those. Um, I update my business page, page on Facebook on this day. If you don't do that, you don't have to do that. I like to do it because I like to be able to tag the products so that people can go to the buy page for those products if they see a post that I use that image for. So that's worth my time to do on that day if I have time again, right? Um, I have a separate blog that I'm updating on this day. I'm also prepping the weekly email that I send out on Fridays. Okay, I really want to send it out every Friday, but usually it doesn't go out until Saturday, Sunday, Monday sometimes. But every week I send an email to my customers with what's coming Monday. That's been key to increasing my PRV. Um, and the other thing you can do with that is you can copy it and change the links to go to the workstation news stories on the different things and send that copy to your team. So everybody's up to date. Your customers have the buy page links in the email you send them and your team has the links to read about it in the news tab so that everybody's up to date, love it. So that's what I do on social media day. 
Then on Fridays, I did my life a favor. <laughs> um, I do office day. This is what I mean by do my life a favor is I used to wait until January, February, and I would panic about taxes because I never did it during the year. I mean, I finally clued in about eight years ago to the fact that I could have an app on my phone that would track me so that my miles got tracked, but um, receipts and all the things I need to print and track and all that, um, even the mileage app that I use, I have to do that once a week and say, that's a personal trip, that's a business trip. Um, so I do that, what, I do it a little bit at a time on Fridays so that I don't have the tax time panic every year because I am not doing that again. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that I do on this day. I'm not doing home parties, but when I was, I was restocking my home party bin. So I just left it on my list here. This is when I'm restocking my mobile office and my purse. Um, I'm ordering supplies. I'm trying to get my inbox down to zero. Um, and then this is like the day that I send those emails, hopefully, if I can get back on track there. I've only done it once or twice on a Friday, but this is where I'm, if I haven't prepped it on Thursday, then I'm going to make it on Friday, the emails that I'm sending to my customers and my team. Um, the last thing that I do on Fridays is I tidy this place because when I come back to it, I want to smile and be proud of myself and not like, uh, because my office is a disaster. So that's the last thing I do on office day. So that is my system. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. I tried to go fast because I, I want to be respectful of your time. I know sometimes I look at videos on YouTube and I'm like, I can't devote an hour to that topic, you know? So um, we've gone almost an hour because I talk nonstop constantly, but I'm going to go back into our, um, I'm going to go back into our Facebook group and see if you guys have any questions. Did I stop the screen share? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got lots in here. Okay. Um, Google Keep will be my new friend. Yeah. <laughs> Dark mode for the win. It's good. It's better for my eyes. Um, the one thing that I didn't talk about that I think is crucial, and I'll end on if we don't have any questions in the Facebook page. Um, I am a huge procrastinator, and it's because I'm a huge, what's the word? I, I'm a perfectionist. And so if I can't do it perfectly, then I won't do it. And Fly Lady helped me realize that. And I learned a lot from her about that. And that's where progress is better than perfection um, came from. But I was such a procrastinator with my Sensi business month after month after month that it really weighed on my heart. If, if you don't procrastinate, great. Hallelujah for you. I struggled like crazy. I would just... <laughs> I would wait until the last week of the month or the last two days of the month. And then I would panic and start texting all my customers. So they got used to me texting them once a month asking, what do you want? I'm putting an order in. Um, but the stress that that causes squeezes my heart. And I hate how that feels. So I just got to a point last summer where I was like, enough. I am never going to do that again. I've got to fix that. And so that's where, that's where I took a real heart to heart look at my business and what I do and how I spend my time and realize something's got to change because nothing changes if nothing changes. You have to decide that having a plan that you're going to follow consistently is worth your time if you're going to do it. Uh, you're not going to do it if you look at this and oh that's a good idea. You'll, it'll just go one in, in one ear and out the other. But if you decide that you're worth it, that you want what you really want from Sensi, then you will work to change things. You will find a system that works for you. This is just what works for me. Um, you don't have to implement any of this, but if any of it sparked your interest and you're like, yes, I really wanna try that, please do, go for it. Take anything you want. Like I say, I'm gonna give you access to all of these. In a minute, I'll just create an album in the group page for you. And it'll have the links to these documents that you can just go copy and paste. Um, but if this doesn't, oh, that's what I was gonna tell you too. You can come in here, and print this page off. If you don't wanna do it on Google Keep, you wanna do it on um, pen and paper in your binder, totally can. You can take this, print it off, stick it in a page protector and use a dry erase marker on it to check things off. Then you can wipe it down every day and start over again. 
Um, that's Fly Lady. I learned that from her. So totally, you can do that. I really like Google Keep because I can do it on my cell phone when I'm anywhere. I can do it on my tablet. I can do it when I sit down at my desk in that tab. I love having that tab open. So it's free. You can get it on Apple or Android. It's just the bomb.com. Super easy. I don't want to take credit for any of this because I literally, I, I'm doing Fly Lady. I'm doing time blocking, which is, I don't even know where that came from. I just heard about it in that indestructible book. Um, uh, I, I'm doing scalable systems. I'm doing the, a, a couple of the, a couple of the things that I track on my customer day. I track on trackers that I got from the simple systems, which I'll give you a link for as well. Stuff like who's got my party bag? Who, where are my testers? You know what I mean? Um, and, and I've got a great one for following up on um, um, pre-orders. So I didn't lose track of the sticky note that I made that had who ordered Harry Potter. I knew exactly who ordered it, whether they ordered it through my website themselves or I had to redeem it for them, which by the way, I don't recommend. That will just mess up the names on all of them going forward. Um, anyway, love it. So, so I'm doing all of those different systems. I just had to put it in a place that I could go back to, I can always go back to this Google Keep dark mode tab and get back on track in two seconds. And that is has what changed me. That, that and doing the power hour every day, that is why my PRV doubled and why I'm recruiting again. And I haven't recruited like this in, oh my gosh, I my average was like one or two a year for the last decade. Before that, when I was really pumped up and super into it, when I was on my way to star director, um, I've recruited a lot more than that. And it really is just how you feel about Sensi and yourself in it. So plug for recruiting. It's not about, what's, what do I want to say? You just have to shine Sensi. Who said that? It was Tammy Thompson the other day in um, United We Rise. If you're not in United We Rise, you need to be. Go find that Facebook group. Go watch her training from Monday. It's the best training on um, recruiting I've ever seen. She really, she nailed it. I mean, she's like, all you do is express how much you love Sensi, and that is the key to recruiting. So anyway, I totally am getting off. What have we got? Do we need to answer any more questions? What's happening? Let me see if we got everything. I hope that was helpful. I don't even know. You guys tell me. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's 50 comments in here. I had no idea. Um, how do you track pre-orders? On that list from the simple systems, I will give it to you. I'll even tag you, Terry. Um, I've been here since it started, but thanks for looking out. Okay, great, okay. Uh, okay, there's so many in here. I'm just gonna go back in a little bit and do it. We've got two minutes left. Anybody on the live Zoom wanna chime in with any questions that we can answer while I'm here? You just have to unmute yourself. Paper planner, yep, I know it. Yep, all the nooks and crannies at work. That's the other thing I wanted to cover. Guys, when I started, I had three tiny kids and I was losing my mind and I barely had time to figure out what was for dinner and you know, keep, stay above water. So I know what it feels like to try and juggle family life and work life and make, going to school too, like crazy. Um, I get working the nooks and crannies. That's why I highly recommend Amy and this Google Keep Notes thing, because you can dump your brain into that. And as long as you create a habit where you look at it every day, you'll make progress. So I'm super excited about it. Okay. Well, I'm going to end there because uh, it's I'm on the hour. Yay me. I hope that something I said resonates. If you are ADD too, if you struggle with focus and prioritization or any of that, I highly recommend all of this. It's really, really changed me. And I'm so looking forward to hitting that 2K again every month. And the, the, I'm going for the two-year plan. 2K in PRV every month, two recruits every month. And in two years, man, my whole business will be totally different. So there you go. Have a great Wednesday. Uh, I'll see you in Sensi land. Find me if you need, if you have any questions or ask them in there. I am, I'm here to help you. Have a great night. We'll see you later. Bye.